Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's your girl Dr. Kurego Achiru, your one and only Kurego living in London. And of course, you can agree with yourself. And by the way, as you can see from my t-shirt, Obakri Queen. Hey! <laughs> All right, G. Let's talk about rules and regulations in the Bible. Did you know that in the New Testament alone, you have a thousand fifty instructions and commandments that you have to obey? <laughs> but lest we forget, the most important thing right now, thanks to Mr. Yu, is polygamy and how the Bible doesn't condemn it and God has no problem with it and he, we just have to carry on. Wow. One of the most ridiculous things I've read in my life. And honestly, you need to hear me on this one. An example was given. You know, I know you, we, we've heard about Abraham. We've heard, we've heard about Solomon. We've heard about Isaac and Jacob and the rest of them. Even though we don't read the end of those stories where we see how their lives were in utter ruins. But anyway, let's focus on this new example I've just found out. Have you heard, according to the book of Matthew 25, verse 1, and I read, God bless the reading of his word. In the Bible, it says, 10 virgins were going after the bridegroom. This is the example that was cited that God is in support of polygamy. Hi! I'm to now, this. I put it to you if we want to not contend with that scripture by saying that God is supporting polygamy by saying 10 virgins were going after and waiting for the bridegroom. Remember that the Bible also says that Jesus, Jesus only wine is our bridegroom and we are his bride. When I say we, men, women, children, everybody. So I put it to you that if you are giving an example with the 10 virgins, you have to also agree that you are saying that Jesus only wine is gender fluid. Oh, or because he's also having bridegrooms i mean brides that are men which makes him gay brides which are women which makes him straight he's also having children and babies which will make him a perfect Jesus on your wine. don't let holy spirit strike you with thunder like ananias of Aphira. anyways moving on forget that example because that one as you can see it doesn't make any sense <laughs> Yes, I said it. Now, let's go on to rules and regulations, yeah? We're talking about the Old Testament and the things that we are set out to do that we haven't followed, but we say we will die inside polygamy, all right? <laughs> Number one, don't wear clothes made of linen and wool. Me checking myself out to know whether I failed in that direction. <laughs> Number two, women who are suspected, which means they did not do it at all, women who are suspected of adultery have to drink dirty water Child. Ooh. you didn't do it you just suspected you have to drink dirty water number three don't sit where a menstruating woman has sat not where she's sitting or where she has sat so you get on the bus you get in the church you go to school you go to the shops, you go to the cinema, to the clubs, wherever. You are not allowed to sit where a woman on her period has sat. Hey, you have Jesus failed. Jesus is Lord. There's only three. Right now, if you have no sin among this one, tell me. Because if you have sin, I am going to cast a stone off. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too early. It's too early for see, 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 see. It's too early for us to have church in here. <laughs> Yeah, tell your name. The devil is a liar. All right, let's go. If your slave refuses freedom, you must pierce <laughs> their ears. She so what? I put it to you: if you're out there and you are putting on earrings, you are a slave that refuses freedom. Jesus, name well. Hello, slaves. How you doing? He shot you. You are not allowed to plant more than one seed in the field. Wow. wow so for all the farmers out there you planting several seeds you plant corn plant yam plant beans plant gary remember also if you're not a farmer we also did agriculture in school some planted yams some planted beans gary different things well cassava you are not allowed to do that <laughs> in jesus name <laughs> this is interesting did you know that you are not allowed to kill a burglar in daytime so if your house was attacked right or if you cut teeth in the daytime you are not allowed to kill them Hey, God, I'm not remembering. Jungle justice in Nigeria, in Africa, is done during the daytime. Wow. If you're still without sin right now, 
Please put your hands up. Put your hands up. Number six, seven. You are not allowed to speak the names of any other gods. Now remember, don't call Buddha. Don't call Arochuku. Don't call Shongo. Don't let it shouldn't come out of your mouth. You understand? You are not allowed to do that. Number eight. Never ever boil a baby goat in his mother's milk. She what? That one I don't know about it, too, but uh, maybe we can ask how some people. <laughs> I don't know. No, sorry, sorry. You have to make sure that no one falls off your roof. Now thinking about Nepa officials in Wari, Delta State. Everybody in Wari right now, they have committed a crime. Hey. Yes, I said it. Number nine. I don't know which number, just follow the sequence. Number nine. Do not eat an owl. Ew. Does anybody even do that? You can't eat owls, you can't eat bats, you can't eat pigs, you can't eat snakes, you can't eat frogs, you can't eat a whole lot of things. And remember, some things you cannot eat on certain days, certain moons, and certain periods of the year. You're not even allowed to shave your beard. He suck you! On your head. You carry Moro Moro there. You are breaking the law. Jesus is love! Do not leave your pit open for animals to fall inside. Now this is interesting. A lot of young stars in Nigeria in those days, they go and catch rabbits, catch frogs, catch different things. You dig hole for them to fall inside. Do you know that you can't make heaven? No, based on the laws, you can't make heaven. You see, you have to follow the sequence of all these things before you want to use the Old Testament to quote polygamy. Hey, who in the New Testament was a polygamous person? Oh, sorry, we just found out that the bridegroom was waiting for 10 virgins, which means my Lord and Master Jesus. Nastiness. Oh, I'm not too and much. And finally, this is the best of the best of the best. Saving the best for the last. You are not allowed to tear your clothes. Go and check all your ripped jeans and all those jeans you tore for rag day and the rest of them. Pack everything and back your bags straight to hellfire. Yes, Mommy Gio, Diga the tribe said it. According to the word of God. Ladies and gentlemen, here ends the reading of the word of God. The word is real, the word is yea, and the word is amen. <laughs> Anyways, in a nutshell, if you want to be a polygamous person, right, go and be polygamous. Don't try to use the Bible to justify it. If you want to practice polyandry and polyamory and polyamotka, do it. You understand? A technical example of who Lord and Master Jesus was, was the man that met the woman, the Samaritan woman, at the well. She had five husbands. And she's with the sixth man. And my Lord and Master Jesus did not capitalize on her lifestyle. It means he don't give a damn about what you're doing right now. He wants your heart. And he said, the time is coming where the true worshippers will worship me in spirit and in truth. They will no longer need to go to the temple. So, if you're waiting for us to come to your temple, we ain't coming there. Because over 2,000 years ago, we were told we don't need to go to the temple. Yeah, tell your neighbor. The devil is a liar. Anyways, if you want to be polygamous, go and be polygamous, yeah? Go and have 500 children. We don't really care. But when you want to say that that's according to the Bible, make sure you're not cherry picking. Make sure that you are following all the rules and regulations in the Old Testament. Now, I've only given you 5% of the rules. And right now, I don't see anybody. I'm a ninja. 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 I'm a